3D filters. 3D filters are used to select and hide or isolate elements on the 3D view in order to facilitate working with the project. At the beginning, let us decide for what elements we will create a 3D filter. Let's open the 3D objects panel to see all available elements in the model. We have two models inside our project. These are the model file itself and the mobile crane. So let us work with the model file. Uncheck the box next to the mobile crane to hide it. And below the model file we have a list of categories inside this model. For example, let's create a 3D filter for floors and walls. Also, we can create these filters in several 3D views. For that, let's click over this house to show another 3D view. Let's place them next to each other and deactivate the view group. Let's link these cameras. So let's proceed with filter creation. Go to Navigator tab and open 3D filters. As a default, you have a set of 3D filters, but we will create a new one. For that, make a right click in the empty space and choose Add. Let's rename it as Flow Filter. To start setting up filter, we need to choose it and go down. We have a general tab active. And we can filter 3D by name, by task filter, by resources, by last resource status, company, 3D objects user fields and user codes. You may choose several criteria at the same time. And as you're choosing, you may see that these tabs are appearing on the top. For example, resources. And from here you can proceed with filter creation. The same goes with companies and 3D. So let us proceed with 3D. Open the 3D tab and select Floors. Also you can use Mark All or Clear All selections. But our simple filter is ready now. Let's go up. We can activate this 3D filter in one selected view or in all 3D views. Let us select a 3D view to apply this filter on. It's enough just to click over the 3D window, the name will highlight it in blue, and then select Activate and select a 3D view. And our simple filter has been applied. So you see that all flows isolated. In order to make this filter more effective, we can apply additional rules on filtered and unfiltered objects. Go to the Windows tab and open 3D view properties. In the 3D view properties, select filters, and from here you can readjust visibility and the color for unfiltered objects. Let's create another filter for walls. Let's go up, make a right click, and add new one. Let's name it Walls Filter. For the walls, we'll be using the same 3D criteria. Open the 3D tab and activate walls from here. Let's activate 3D view and activate and select a 3D view. As an alternative to the 3D filters, Tab, we can activate and edit filters from the 3D views directly. Select 3D view, make a right click, 
and go to filters. So what we can do, we can deactivate all filters or use show all command. We can filter by critical path or we can apply new filter or we can combine number of filters from here. For example, let's choose show all and all filters have been withdrawn. Activate it back again, make a right click, go to filters, select wall filter. We can also edit the filtered content from the 3D view. For example, I don't want to see this wall anymore. Just select these two walls, make a right click over them, go to filters. And now some additional options have been added. We can create new filter from selected. We can create a selectable set from selected objects. We can add selected to the filter, or we can remove selected from the filter. Let's use remove selected from the filter. Hit escape a couple of times. And now, as you can see, these two walls have been excluded from the filter. In case if you activated more than one filter on the same 3D view, they will appear in the 3D view properties of the selected 3D view. Let us, for example, add also flow filter. And now we have two filters active. You can arrange their position or change in operation from AND to OR. Now elements filtered from the both filters are displaying. 